in this video i'm going to show you how to make this letterhead this is yet another letterhead design tutorial so if you want to learn how to create this letterhead keep watching hello guys this is online office teacher where i help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that said let's create our letterhead having launch weight i go to insert and i go to shifts and the rectangles i choose rectangle then draw the shape this is the size i want there's no stipulated size Can place it right here you can see a space here i want to close it up perfect next i will duplicate the rectangle so i select it then press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate i place it back on the first one then i move it to the right with the right arrow key on the keyboard Okay, this is how I want it. Now I'll change the color. I'll select this. Go to shape fill. I'll choose this. Then I'll go to shape outline. No outline. Then select this one. Shape fill. Black. Shape outline. No outline. Perfect. Now I will select the two shapes. I click on the first one, hold down control key and click on the second one. Then I go to group, drop down, then click on group. Now it is one shape. So I can only move that. Okay, I'll press undo to place it back perfectly. Now I want to select it and make a duplicate of it. Ctrl D on the keyboard. Now I'll place it back. Perfect. Now I want to take it down to the bottom. I can use the down arrow keys to take it down to the bottom. I will scroll down to see it. Go down. Okay. Then this is perfect. Now I will rotate it by using flip horizontal. So the upper part, the gold color is at the left side and it is longer than the black and the bottom part, the black is longer than the gold color. Perfect. Now I insert a logo. I go to insert, pictures, this device. I have, I have my logo on the desktop. I click on desktop logo and i choose this so with this it will be difficult to move it so to be able to move it i go to wrap text make sure the image is selected otherwise you will not see picture tools and then format so wrap text in front of text so with this i can be able to move it from one place to the other so i want to place it right here I reduce the size perfect next I want to insert contact details down here so I go to insert text box I'll draw my own text box right here phone Okay, enter Charlie Avenue, Damon Street. Move the text box down a bit. Okay, now the white field is covering the 
black behind here so i'll go to shape fill no fill i'll also take off the outline no outline now i make a duplicate of it but before i do that let me format the text in here phone i want to make it bold and then location bold okay now i make a duplicate of this click on it press ctrl t key on the keyboard now place it right on the first one perfect i move it with the right arrow key perfect now in here i change the text email then enter email info at decopages.com and i come down here what highlight this www.decopages.com perfect next i insert the text box go to insert text box I will draw my own text box right under the logo and I want this text box to take care of the recipient's address right there so I'll enter the recipient's address enter now I'll close up the text box a bit I go to shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. I'll make the name here bold. Next, I insert another text box. Text box, draw text box. This one is for date, right here. And I want to insert an automated date such that each time this letterhead is opened the current date will be displayed so i go to insert and the text group i click on insert date and time now i choose the date format right here so here update automatically is checked i'll leave it checked and click on ok I go to home, Alan right. Now close the text box a bit. Now highlight it, then make it bold. Go to drawing tools format. Drop down the arrow, no fill, outline, no outline. Perfect. Now select it back, take it up a bit with the up arrow key on the keyboard. Next I insert another text box, go to insert, text box, draw text box. So this is going to be the main content of the letterhead right here. I'll open this up a bit. To be in line with the date and then here i do the same so that the space at the left and right will be the same that is the margin now take off the outline so i go to format under drawing tools drop down the arrow no outline you can also take off the fill so that in future when there is something around here the white fill will not obstruct it So I want to get a random text. So this is my letter. Maybe I don't need this much. So I'll take this out. And I'll format the letter. 
I'll go to home line spacing I need 1.5 then hit enter sincere sincerely yours comma enter the cool pages enter I'll say manager now close the space in between the name here tiku pages and manager so i highlight the two i go to line spacing now choose 1.0 then i build them up let me zoom out okay now my letterhead is set and this is yet another way of treating a letterhead using Microsoft Word. So you can adopt this style, fill in your own colors and you are good to go. I hope you found value. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video just like this one on this channel you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.